Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to learn about dealing with drop downs. So let us automate the part where you open a URL and uh, select a value from the drop down. So our requirement 3 for today is select a value from drop down. So before getting started I want to uh, go to the page which we want to automate. So today I chose uh, airindia.com so this is how the page looks like the home page of airindia.com so here if you see the part which says the drop down uh, here that I clicked so Im imagine when you're doing manually how would you do you would first load the URL and then if you want to select something from the drop, drop down you first click here so that's step number two and then select something whatever you want that's step number three so when you are trying to automate also you have to follow the same steps so you just have to load the browser or load the page that you want click on the drop down that you want and then select whatever value you would like from here so if you inspect the element in the xpath i'm using uh, firefox here so let us load the add-ons go to add-ons and uh, I hope you already have these add-ons and if you have not checked uh, my video on how to customize your expats I would suggest go and take a look at that it will help you uh, customize your own expats by using firebug and firepath so I'm uh, downloading these two add-ons now and then restart my browser so here we go I'll open so once you have the firepath and firebug added you'll find a small firebug icon here on the left mo rightmost corner make sure you have that always on now I go to airindia.com for today's testing this is a home page so I want to click on uh, automate clicking on this and selecting one option from here so before doing that we should know the address of this drop down so I'll say inspect in fire path so I got the address of this so when you closely notice in the tag here in the code that we got it says something called select so all the drop downs which has predefined options so these options like economy here executive first all these are tied to the web page so every time you load the page they, they, they will load so there, there is no major change in this drop down so these are called static drop down which will be tied to your page when the page is being built so in those cases you could you can check something like this here which add where the tag says as select so whenever you have a select in the drop down right the tag as select in the drop down in selenium we have a class called select class which helps you to perform any operations like selecting deselecting or you know selecting the item by its value I'll tell you in deep like what they are so Firefox has, um, Selenium gave us number of methods that are readily available you just have to create an object of this class what is the name of the class the name of the class is select so in order to use the pre select class you just have to create an object of the class and then use all the methods that Selenium already gave you so let us see how to deal with that I am trying to open a new class here for this static drop down so I create a new java class called as a static drop down selection and I check public static void main without that a program cannot run and then I say finish so static drop down selection java dot java is created now I want to perform this in my chrome browser so for that I will set my system property so system dot set property 
you can uh, go through the video on uh, invoking chrome browser if you need more details about this so i'm going to set the system property as web driver dot chrome dot driver and i will pass the value the path of the chrome driver in my machine so i have it readily available here so i copy the path come back to my code paste it and then say chrome driver end it with a semicolon so now the step one is completed so i can easily use my chrome browser for my testing because i set its property now create an object for chrome driver i mean sorry chrome browser so that you can invoke your url from there so web driver d is equal to new chrome driver Okay, so it is asking me to import web driver and the chrome driver class. Okay, right. So I have a object created. So I'll say object name dot. You first step is you have to go to airindia.com, right? So I'll give the URL airindia.com. So now you hit the URL successfully. Now I told you that about the select class, right? So in order to use the class, you need to create a select class object in your code. So the syntax is class name dot space object name. So drop down object, right? So I'll say dd is equal to new class name, then semicolon. So it is uh, herring out. So it is asking you to import select class. Okay, this is, see that's imported now. So the other error is it says that you know select has an argument. So to get more details, go to the Selenium site of select. So if you go to any browser and type Selenium select class, you get something like this. Click on that select and it will give you the code it will direct you to the place where you can see all the properties all the you know written types and all the arguments of that particular class all the details about this class select so in this if you notice you say select you have to have an argument web element now it is nothing but you know you have to tell your code on what drop down you have to perform these operations so here in our example which what do we want to do is we have to click on this particular drop down okay yep the economy whatever it says right so by default it's economy so i will get the u x path of this so you are telling for in, even if you're doing manually in order to select one drop down you will first click there right so get the x path of that particular drop down so i copy this here come back to your code and then you give the web element here the, that particular drop down is the web element here so you directly give driver dot whenever you say d dot you get all the methods of that browser so i say find element by the first one by dot we are finding it by using x path so x path is always enclosed in double quotes I give the x path of that and then end it with semicolon this is the syntax so you first created a drop down object here and then you told it what is that what is the address of that drop down now if you say drop down dot these are the properties or these are all the methods of this particular drop down so select deselect all these are readily available now you just have to choose what you want to do you want to select right so select by index if you select the first one you have to pass the index index always starts with zero so if you see here economy is zero executive is one so wherever you go the first one will be zero for the, for the in the drop down so you will say zero one two three for example you want executive slash economy you will give the index as three here so I will give index as 3. So I am selecting something from the drop down which is in 4th position. I am giving select 
by index right 0 1 2 3 so it will select executive or economy so let us see uh, what's happening it has to load me the chrome browser navigate me to air india and then click on the drop down and select executive or economy so my steps it did launch the browser it's navigating to air india okay. see the option got selected whatever we gave so it did when go to the Air India site and select the option of select the value from the drop down by its index. So this is how we will select automate we will automate drop down by using the select class. So in some cases right you don't have you don't know what exactly is the index of the drop down that you want to select right. In that case what you would do is the drop down dot select by value but you know that you want to select executive executive slash economy so you can directly pass it by its value also that option also we have available in the method so dd dot select by value in the earlier case we selected by index so i commented that out and now i am trying to select it by its value so let's select some other uh, value from the drop down so we see something called first right so i will select first here so see, now i will save my code and try to run it i will close the browser it's already open okay now i am going to run the program so now it has to select the option first from the drop down it did open chrome browser here has to navigate to air india dot com okay, it has to select first yes it did see the uh, option first got selected from the drop down so this is how you uh, select whatever option you want from the drop down so this is the way to deal with static drop down using your select class so practice all the methods so if you want to know more about the methods you can just say object name dot and take all each one of the methods and practice what it does you select deselect any number of options if you have any questions or comments please oppose them underneath and i'll get back to them as soon as possible